Hi everyone, it's me Leslie here with another video. Thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Today I'm doing a story time discussion to talk about the phoniness of social media. So recently I was on my Facebook page checking a listing and I was trying to sell something, it's not working out, I plan to delete the post, blah blah blah. But while I was up there I noticed um, a lot of people were posting about their holidays and I noticed one person that I knew um, from years back uh, and she had posted a picture of um, herself with her family doing something and I was thinking to myself that person that person um, they don't look like that they look a lot they they don't look like that they've altered the image or you know they've done a lot of things to the photo to um, to look a certain way, to come across a certain way for um, who's ever viewing the photo. And that photo got me thinking about the phoniness of social media. Several years ago, I was um, on Instagram and I was trying to promote my positive character books and I was being bombarded too much with pictures of people saying, look at me, essentially saying, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at how great I am with their photos. And so I ultimately decided to get off of Instagram. And with Facebook, there's a lot of the same of the look at me, look at me. And so um, I'm up there to try to promote my positive character books, but soon I'll be getting off of Facebook as well. So I'm bringing up those examples because I just want to talk a little bit about the phoniness of social media, the phoniness of so many of these postings that people make. And there'll be so many pictures that's, that um, are just like, look at my outfit or look at how um, great my body is in these in these tights or look at how great my hair is or look at my great makeup or fill in the blank with the the self gratifying post <laughs> fill in the blank and my question is what's wrong with a little bit of humility and modesty What's wrong with being a little bit more humble about the things that we have? Maybe we have a great relationship, um, a beautiful family, great house, great cars, or whatever floats your boat. Maybe you've got it all. How come some of us feel the need to to brag about that. I know some people who have not had it so good and, and ended their life. And several years ago, I was someone who wanted to end my life as well. Things were not going, things were not going very well for me. And luckily, so much has changed since then. And I, and I couldn't even dream of, of doing that. But after working on myself and um, starting to write these positive character books and doing things that have changed the trajectory of my life, I realized there's a lot of beauty and humility. How come so many of us feel the need to, to parade what we have or, or post things that make it seem like we have so much more than we do. What are we trying to gain? What are we trying to accomplish? Are we trying to get a pat on the back? Are we trying to get some comments of, oh, wow, I wish I looked like you, or I wish I had what you had? What are we trying to accomplish? Perhaps it's time for us all who participate in social media to take a step back and think about how we can be a little bit more humble in the things with the things that we post. 
Maybe we do have a lot of wonderful things, but why does, why does that have to be shared with everyone? Why can't it be, why can't those great things or a lot of the great things be kept close to our hearts? There is a lot to be said about humility. Having wonderful, beautiful things in our life, beautiful people in our lives. But keeping those, a lot of those beautiful things close to our hearts. And instead of bragging about all the wonderful things we have, Helping others have wonderful things as well. Beautiful things as well. So I'll end the video there. Instead of trying to seem as though we've got it all and we've got it made when we do our social media posts, why don't we all consider whoever's um, big with social media, if we do a lot of posts, why don't we consider maybe taking a more humble approach with the things that we do? Do we have to post a picture of how great uh, I looked that day or how great uh, my skin, hair, outfit, um, life is? <laughs> Instead of doing the, the typical, look how great I am and look how great I've got it posts. Perhaps we can take an approach with more humility or maybe not make that post at all. Who's it helping? What are you trying to gain? Some likes or, oh, you look so great. I mean, what are we trying to gain? I lost all this weight. Give me a compliment. Look at this post. What are we trying to gain? There's a lot of beauty in humility. There's a lot to be said about not saying everything that you got or what you want others to think that you've got. So that's where I'll end my video today. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, bye.